Deadeye Vermont is a monster. Uh, this ship is the best ship against broadside targets in this entire game, in my opinion. I think this is the only ship I would really trust against a broadside ship that I have to kill. Um, 12 guns that are some of the most accurate shells in the game now that it has Deadeye. Um, and of course they hit like a truck, right? 15,750 damage is pretty insane. And uh, here I don't quite lead this uh, Nevsky enough, but we still do 21k damage. Uh, yeah, these these guns hurt a lot, and Deadeye just makes them better. Uh, the Vermont playstyle is one where you're in the back of the map. Um, and by back of the map, I mean where I'm positioned, not where, uh, not where our Thunder and Yamato are positioned down on the IJ lines. <laughs> Uh, it's, it seems like the back of the map keeps getting stretched farther and farther behind spawn. But in my mind, having your concealment just around the edge of the capture zones is is near the back of the map. Um, and that's where you want to be playing this ship. Where you're close enough that you're impacting the game. Um, you don't really want to lose Deadeye. Um, but at closer ranges, obviously, your dispersion is is better. So it's not a bad thing to get close is the thing. I think... Uh, that's missed in the whole Deadeye conversation sometimes, is that you shouldn't just play at the back of the map because Deadeye gives you a 10% boost. Um, that boost is there to make you a little bit more effective out these longer ranges, but your ship is still at its most effective at closer ranges because that's where RNG does not matter nearly as much. Um, but for these long bomb shots, yeah, Vermont's amazing. Um, these shells seem like they should be just Ohio shells, but they actually carry their speed um, to distances much better. They don't, uh, I think the shell drag characteristics have been changed versus the Ohio, even though they do the same amount of damage. Um, the problem with this ship, of course, is the reload. And to be honest, that's why I don't play it much in random battles. Um, if you're on my streams and that, you'll know that I don't really play this ship a whole lot. And that's because the reload is just so long. If you mess up shots like this one where you miss aim, I mean, we still got 10,000 damage there, but six bounces. Um, if I had aimed a little better there, obviously that would have been a huge hit. And you get a 40 second reload to deal with now. Um, it's hard to impact a game in random battles with a slow reload. I think that's where this ship is really, really difficult to play in random battles. It's a high impact ship if you position perfectly and you know exactly which target you should be shooting at basically all times um, because there's no room for mistakes with a 40 second reload you can't um, whiff a shot you can't um, shoot the wrong target because your team is just gonna suffer with that um, battleship being out of action basically for the next 40 seconds it's really really clumsy um, this reload on top of the ship being clumsy of course it's slow it doesn't turn it it's gigantic its armor is pretty trash um, yeah this ship is is you, you're playing it for those devastating salvos and that's what this ship is good at I mean we've got you know 75k in basically five minutes it's pretty good right but uh, it's it's not a ship I actually enjoy playing that much in random battles um, it's likely that you'll see me play this ship in competitive. Um, I still need to try it out in a competitive setting. I haven't played any practices. I haven't done any of that stuff yet. But if you um, had one shot to kill a single ship, let's say that ship is a linchpin uh, radar ship, like maybe that Des Moines on D3, uh, right? And I'm on a cross map and I have a shot on that guy. What ship would you choose to kill that guy with? If you had one shot to do it, I'd probably choose a Deadeye Vermont, not going to lie. Uh, Thunder is an okay option, but um, Thunder doesn't have the uh, tanking ability necessary for a, uh, for a real competitive game. Um, I know I just said Vermont is not that tanky and its armor is kind of bad, but it is still decent. Where if you just plow nose in into a cap and you can hold it for a couple minutes... Sometimes that's required in competitive, and that Vermont is capable of doing that at least, unlike a Thunder. Um, also, Thunder only has uh, eight shells, whereas this has twelve, and they deal more damage each. So, 
Um, I think I probably would take this over Thunder. Maybe Deadeye Yamato is something you're thinking. Well, those nine shells and relatively poor vertical dispersion mean it's kind of RNG if you're going to hit people really hard uh, a lot of the time. Yes, Deadeye makes it better, but Japanese vertical dispersion is uh, is really, really, really bad. <laughs> so that's often why you don't see me playing that ship in, uh, in competitive. That was a blind shot, and we got four full pens for 17k. Right, like this ship is is really, 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 really good versus ships it overmatches, which is most cruisers, and against broadsides, um, which you know battleships sometimes give you. The last thing that's really nice about this ship, other than the guns, is the AA. Uh, just look at how strong this is. I haven't even popped defensive fire here, and shooting down four planes, five planes before he drops uh, drops our Smolensk. And that's not even with defensive fire active. With defensive fire, we probably would have shredded that entire squad with our, uh, with the help of the Smolensk, obviously. But uh, even solo, you're you're strong enough that you're able to. Uh, yeah, that was a big hit. <laughs> uh, you, you're strong enough on AA to almost play alone, even, um, which basically no other battleship can say. Uh, maybe pre-nerfed Kremlin or Slava currently could say that, but even still. Uh, I think I think this ship has the best AA of any battleship in the game. And that's what you are. You are a uh, stationary um, threat, basically. You, you need to position correctly to get these broadsides. And you'll notice that's what I've done here. I've decided that my team is going to be, you know, probably just kiting away to C, it seems like. And the enemy team has to push into B. And that's how positioning works with this ship. If the enemy team you know has to push into a certain area, right? They're gonna lose the game if they don't push into B. So I'm trying to get on their flank in order to uh, in order to stop their push. It's pretty simple. Um, I don't wanna push too hard because you know we don't know where the Nevsky is. We don't necessarily know where some of their other ships that were spotted north of the uh, D3 island are, but they're probably, they're probably still in the vicinity. Actually, I think that Moscow was spotted there recently, so never mind. Um, but I'm trying to get broadsides, and even though this ship does overmatch, obviously you do want to hit broadsides most. That's where it's that's where this ship is at its best. Uh, unfortunately, no Citadel there, but still huge damage, huge damage. So with Dead Eye on the Vermont, it makes it into a very, 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 very accurate uh, ship at longer ranges. Here, obviously, it's not activated because you know we're in spotting range basically so we don't have dead eye active but that doesn't matter because vermont is still very very accurate and you're much more efficient at these uh at these ranges because you know what's a nevs how's a nevsky gonna dodge you at 12 and a half kilometers when you have 12 guns that overmatch his entire ship <laughs> uh yeah he's not gonna be dodging that too easily if you aim correctly so there you go another 10k the problem, of course, is the slow reload. I think this ship is great. I think it's a very strong battleship. It's just not that fun to play, if that makes sense, in random battles. It's just too slow. It doesn't reposition quick enough. It doesn't reload quick enough to be that fun. Um, that said, if you boosted its speed and you buffed its reload, It'd be overpowered, just straight up. You couldn't make this ship have a 30-second reload with these guns. That just no, that just wouldn't work. Um, it would just be too strong. Because look at that dispersion. <laughs> that guy is so dead there. Uh, it's just too strong with its overmatch and its uh, crazy accuracy on these really hard-hitting guns. It has to have a long reload. I just don't think it's the most fun ship to play in random battles, that's all. Um, but it's very, very, very strong. And you'll notice I am running it with range mod. That is because I like to shoot these longer shots. Um, generally, that's what you're shooting at in competitive is these really long bombs across the map. And it's good to get some practice in on those when you're uh, when you're playing some random battles. Also, if you guys saw the uh, Reddit post from a few members of the community, you'll know that uh, taking range mod actually does improve your dispersion slightly. Uh, I think it's the vertical side that it improves more. Um, there we get three non-pens on his broadside, but that tends to happen at longer ranges. You can't really expect to Citadel things at that range when uh, the plunging fire is more uh, more of a thing. So this ship is really strong, and 
I just don't enjoy playing it because it doesn't reload fast enough. <laughs> That's all. That's that's really all there is to it. If you're someone who's okay with being patient, or if you're someone who's tired of uh, not hitting people very hard when they show broadside, this is probably the ship for you, honestly. Um, if you're tired of the just do no damage when somebody goes broadside to you and you're okay with dealing with the long reload and the, the slow speed, it's a good ship. It's a very, very strong ship versus broadsides. I, I don't want to... Uh, undersell that look at that like that montana was at 23 kilometers and we just slapped them right it's a great ship i like it a lot um i just don't think it's fast enough to be fun in random battles the more competitive side now that's a possibility you'll notice we even got 100 hits that's pretty rare in a battleship especially with this long reload just shows you how good the dispersion is um if i play with this ship more i probably would get less ricochets and non-pens i'd probably be aiming better and getting even more damage um, so that's my thoughts on the uh, Vermont with Deadeye. It's it's good, and there's a reason I say you should run Deadeye on everything. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'll just show you how I build the ship up quickly. Um, it's slightly different than some of my other builds, but it's pretty much in the same line. So, so for the Vermont uh, build, this is what it looks like. I am running Gun Feeder sometimes, rarely, but sometimes you want to switch to HE with this thing. Very rarely. Um, a Gunner. Because your AA is actually really good, like I mentioned. Um, very, very strong with your defensive fire up. Adrenaline Rush, pretty standard. Uh, concealment, Deadeye, and Emergency Repair Expert. I mean, this is... You've seen it before. This is the way I like to build my battleships right now. Um, and then, of course, for the final three points, I'll probably get basic survivability. It makes the most sense on most battleships. It's possible I run... Expert AA Marksman, um, just because the AA is so good and we could maybe even make it even better. Getting that extra flak explosion might be pretty useful. But most of the time, basics of survivability will help you live a little bit longer. Especially because how uh, easy it is to hit, hit this ship. It's very, very, very easy to hit. Um, and then the way I'm running it, um, I'm actually usually running the Artillery Priding Room Mod 2. To give me the better accuracy, this is something I've just been experimenting with a little bit more recently, but um, in this game, you saw I was definitely running the uh, accuracy. I think it is better to run the accuracy still, but I've had some interesting games with Reload. Deadeye with Reload gives you essentially old Vermont dispersion, um, because Deadeye gives you 10% better dispersion, and this gives you 11%. Um, so, before the Deadeye patch um, is what this reload mod build would look like. Uh, but I think just accuracy is probably better in general. Um, concealment to get your Deadeye a little easier to activate. Damage control system. You're not dodging anybody with this ship, so you want to be a little bit tankier. Um, I am taking range because I like shooting at longer ranges. You could definitely run main battery mod 2 or something like that if you felt like it. Um, you don't need the range. And then damage control system mod 1. And then auxiliary armaments to keep my AA alive. Pretty standard. I'm also running spotter plane. I love sniping cross map, guys. It's just something that's really fun for me. So that's reflected in my builds. So that is the Vermont. I like this ship. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and thank you for watching.